Well, it's probably better than mine because <laughs> oh, hi. I good morning. Have my hair done for good a morning. few weeks, so oh, yeah, you're appointment on Thursday. on Thursday. I could look a lot better next week. Okay, you got that girl. <laughs> so okay, holiday jumper day in the UK at Mike's work. Is that so like I was not inspired? an official thing. Well, it's for his work. So oh, I um, this morning I was getting dressed and I said, you know what? You're being empathetic. I'm pulling up my <laughs> that, holiday sweater. I don't have one anymore. I did. I, I have two, actually. The last time I had, <laughs> when Jasper was born and we had his baptism and it was near Christmas because mm -hmm. his birthday's November. Oh, my God. I have pictures of myself. Oh, and, no. And it, so it was you 1994. Uh -huh. It was a long, like, totally Kelly Christmas green sweater. <laughs> and it had stuff on it. It had, like, gold embroidery on it. And I'm standing in front of everybody. with, And also my hair mm -hmm. was long. Mm -hmm. Grr. Uh -huh. And which is not uh -huh. what you'd normally think of uh -huh. me. I think I had it back. And Did you have glitter, and glitter in your hair? And here I'm holding this little baby. And oh, <laughs> well, okay. Is this that bad? One? Like no, naughty? no. Okay, okay, that, there's no glitter that on it. It's not the ugly okay. Christmas sweater. But I, I would say so. mine was. I should have held on to it for a sweater. Reason. I had to go buy some once at Goodwill for the kids because um, you know the, the schools were having like ugly sweater day and it was an emergency and. Anyway, we found some. We found some. Good I ones. just had one of those ugly sweater emergency. Oh. Um, and what did Riley oh, yeah, say? Yeah. Oh, I got and her got a cute one. ugly Christmas sweater, mm -hmm. green and red striped with Snoopy dancing on the front. Oh, that is cute. And I pulled it We're out of the bag. Pull out that Charlie Brown theme and <laughs> yes. And she said, oh, "I love it." Ten out of ten. So <laughs> I, that was my. You're a good mom for the day. <laughs> that would be a great quote for our yeah. uh, newsletter. This Later, I'm sure she told me how I had messed something up. Oh, but yeah. 10 out of 10 on the Snoopy sweater. Well, awesome. uh, yesterday, Sue and I did a Christmas thing. And I really appreciate I, you I just popped in for coming to yeah. help me. Um, we made Swedish flatbread, which I, I'm going to butcher this word. But I did a little research. My grandma never said this. But it's tunbrod. Tunbrod. Oh, that sounds pretty T -U -N -N -B -R -O -D with two dots, with two dots. Over, the, mm. over the D. And basically, it's a it's kind of like a cracker, and it takes a lot of work. You have to have a special roller with mm -hmm. like little teeth, and you have to like use every muscle in your body to get it to be. Have paper you tried thin. it without the teeth roller? No, it, would, it wouldn't work. Well, it, I, it would I mean, be like too the one, thick. I just did a couple, and I was able to get it pretty. And mm, that might have been the thicker ones that came out of the oven. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't okay. bypass that technique. That's yeah. totally, uh, you know, authentic and stuff. And I was feeling really good. So then I make cookie dough. Then I was really feeling really even better. And I'm like, I'm going to make some chocolate haystacks for Jim. So I got all the stuff together and I melted the chocolate. And then I'm like, you know what would make this even better if I made that chocolate creamier? Mm. So I added some whipped cream, which instantly turned my chocolate into like really hard, crumbly. Ah, no. Okay, so kitchen it, chemistry. It, it, it ended. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a candy maker. And I love hasty. I tried to like fake it, and I put all the chocolate and kind of mixed it with some of the the hay, mm -hmm. and just pressed it into a pan, and Ew. then put it in the fridge, and it it just. I had, I had to throw it away. Oh, shoot. I couldn't think of anything else. So you had a pretty productive day pretty except day for except that. Pretty day except for the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this. Oh, look, look. the baby stocking. No, it hasn't been blocked yet. But look, I put a little tag on here that says one of a, one of a kind on here. Aw, well, but that's cute. all about And then her. I'll put her name right here. Yeah. So. Cute. Oh. So those are the stockings that stay at your house. Yeah, these will stay at Grandma and Grandpa's Elise house. Elise got her mama made her. Yeah, if you look at our these. story, you will see. We did a little um, blocking yeah, demo. Yep, it's not the outsides are dry, oh, but the yeah, inside is a little damp. Take it a while. That's okay. We've got yeah, time. I know we do. We've got some time. I do. We do. Got a little time. Okay, okay, we have quite a bit to chat about. We were just gonna just chit chat about random stuff, but now we it's morphed into it. more of a structured. Plan. Yeah, so what? Our first thing is we got a giant order of Madeline Tosh in. Yay! And a variety of stuff. So not just like one thing. This is the Farm Twist DK. So it's applied yarn. New it's, base. It's for beautiful. Them. It's so squishy. Mm -hmm. I was saying it's like 
Madeline Squishy Tosh. It's like its middle name. I love it. And the colors. The colors are nice. Are amazing. Yeah, there's not any it's like super highly variegated. They're all tonal. They're just really, really like semi solid. We have a They're little gorgeous. bit of the Gigi Orange left. Yeah, that one went really fast. Yeah. yeah. And we we did an unboxing video, so um, yeah, that's on. on the that's on quite a few there too. To get some. Then they introduced a new fingering base, and this is their uh, TML tweed. So Tosh Marina Light tweed. It's it's a one ply, and it's got some little like little nips in there, mm -hmm. and you can see it on some more than others. Definitely on that one and some of the lighter ones, mm -hmm. but it really adds a super nice texture. It's pretty. And yeah, these would be beautiful for so many things mm -hmm. that we are going to talk about. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And mohair. Oh, yeah. Coming. A and little bit. We didn't go so crazy with bit it. Because uh, we have another order of some mohair coming in soon. So. Yeah. So, but boy, yeah. is that, that is just and that, fabulous. Like the green beads match. Mm -hmm. it, this is called Joshua Tree. Both of those are Joshua Tree. Tree. And this one is Translation. So, one of the Together, colors we gorgeous. got from um, the Madeline Tosh company is called, um, is it Spice? Glaze, glaze, glaze pecans. pecans. But it got us thinking. Yeah, we we're thinking about, you know, the glaze pecans. So, tomorrow in our email, we'll share a recipe that I have um, that is not really a sweet pecan. It's a little, it got a little spice in it, but it's a really easy recipe, and I like to make it to give to people, actually, because mm, yeah. it's nice on salads and all that stuff. Pecan. You know, nuts are good for you. That's the cookie uh, dough that I made was butter pecan. <gasps> oh, yum. You'll get some because I doubled the batch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, and the other new thing that came last week or was released for sale on Friday is the Lina magazine. And issue um, 10. I won't say we're excited about every magazine that comes in the store. But there's been a few lately that we think are real winners. This one is one of them. There are so many wonderful patterns in this particular magazine, like super wearable. Um, plus there's a lot. plus of like articles. It's like Playboy, you know? The pictures are good. The patterns, Just like hot, Playboy. Yep. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I haven't studied one of those. In well, that's what they always say. Oh, my brother wrote what? an article for Playboy once. He did? Oh my gosh. Do we know what it was about? It was about environmental stuff. Wow. So I think they do Some have some of those are some quite wow. intellectual that is people reading those magazines. <laughs> Might have to look that one Or up. maybe it's just the article to say we have really good essays in our... <laughs> okay. Other than the photos. We digress <laughs> from Lina to Playboy, but you know. Um, anyway, okay, so we are going to highlight just three that we okay. found um, to talk about. There are a few others in there. Okay, I've this is your first on my list. one here. I'll the Snowy Forest it. sweater is right here. Okay, that is from Midori House. Um, it's she has a beautiful aesthetic. The cables in there are, you know, yeah, statement I mean, and cables. look at the sleeve. What a chunky. drape! It's you beautiful. don't have to do long sleeves. And there's not color work, right? So it's cable, but it's top so down. So like beautiful. Yeah. So they have suggested doing it with a sport weight and mohair held together. So we have pulled, you know, a few color combos to inspire. Purple. Would that be beautiful? That I would like this Luscious one down. with Andorra. But I would like that too. Haze. I love that heathery purple. Mm -hmm. Like that's one of my favorites. And then this beautiful green. I know, oh and gosh. everybody looks good in that combo. Evergreen. The California ladies do a really nice job with retro kind of colors. Um, but they, add this, yeah. and it just adds brightens a it up a tad. Depth mm -hmm. of it color, does. I love it. You can also do this with a really rustic um, oh, worsted like, by itself, uh, which would be beautiful. Yeah, some of our um, so mountain meadows that would be make just a yummy sweater and also i wonder about our other local stuff mm -hmm. yeah the yarn from generation Gap right i feel like that, that'd yeah, be really that nice. that would be lovely germantown would also be fabulous by itself for this sweater another fine cowboy really yarn. show off mm -hmm. the labels yeah i mean like the labels the cables the cables, <laughs> the cables labels. here's the label <laughs> you could I'm attach that to your sweater if you need to yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so that is one of them. The next one, that's the snowy forest sweater. But you know, having those lighter weight yarns, I feel like in a cable this big would would be make it super drapey and not, the cable just wouldn't be so like puffy, you know, when you have it out of a drapey. And yarn. they have you on like an eight and 10 needle oh, in that pattern. Okay. So, so that it is drapey for yarn. sure. Yeah, yeah, it does. Well, when you look at the sleeves. It's yeah. a beautiful sweater. I, I mean, that's, that's one that's on my list. I don't know if I'll ever get to it, but it's <laughs> on the list. Okay, the mm -hmm. next one is the Skog, if that's the right way to say that. Yeah, but this yeah. one's pretty cool. I love the the neckline, the little bit higher Can you mock see? turtleneck, and then the color work on the sleeves. And the way they do that is there's actually a little bit of mohair in the color work. It's it's paired with a, fing a fingering weight, right? Mm -hmm. And then the color work is a fingering plus a mohair, mm -hmm. just to add some texture. But I love that in the. What are our suggested? Okay, so for this? these are some awesome things right here. So you want some contrast between the main color and the color work. So you would probably be using a, a matching fingering weight, supposedly, yeah. with yeah. that for the mm -hmm. color work. But look at this. I mean, this That's with pretty. that. Oh, oh. So pretty. That would That's just be gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. So nice I design. think there's some beautiful combinations. That's. Uh, designed from Julie Hoover oh, that's pretty and much. all of the mo all of the Madeline Tosh is online right now so if there's mm -hmm. something that you see just head over there and check it out and probably grab it if it's yeah. a color you want yeah it is going quickly I would say most people are grabbing quantities not just one mm -hmm. so yeah, and the mohairs unless, too unless you want to do you know a special last minute hat project or something I love this this is cute love this grounded from Denise Bayron. Yep. Um, that's beautiful. Yeah. So it's it a new is, thing. It is a new thing. Well, it it's is. kind of like a dicky that Arnie <laughs> and Carlos have um, brought back. Yeah, I, I love this. And it's color blocked, really. So the back and the front are different mm -hmm. and different stitches. Yeah, the textures are different. Exactly the same. So you can flip it around. Yeah, for whatever your outfit is. Like, yeah, throw a jacket over look. it. Uh -huh. and, and it is called a. Ponchette. 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 Yes. So here's three beautiful colors yes. from Tosh, um, you know, to inspire you. It's got the collar, the little collar. I love, warmth. I love the turtleneck. Now, I just wonder, though, some people are going to say, I don't like turtlenecks, but I feel like you might not have to do that on here if you, you might don't not, want to. But that makes it a little bit unique. And yeah, then how I, would you get I, the three colors? You know, because yeah, a lot you of people definitely say everything's better three. in threes. That's true. An odd number is mm -hmm. always better. Um, and also, this balayage would be, oh, oh my goodness. My God, that would be, like, maybe this is what I'm going to make with that. Because mm -hmm. I've been wanting to make that or use that. Mm -hmm. But when I saw this, I'm like, this is super approachable and wearable. And look at that. And I, I wear blazers a lot, and I feel like this would be great because the shoulders will be nice so it's not going to be all bunchy under under another you know like a jacket it's very pretty it's so great each both sides are a slightly different stitch so you have you know you don't get bored doing the same thing twice and yeah i, um, I really then there's like that this. little neck that's fun. and just like with your coat wearing this with your coat mm -hmm. um this just really will look great and there's so many times you're not you know you don't want your neck cold not this time of and year. And we did get snow, so yeah. it's time to pull Finally, out the turtlenecks. We got snow. But here's, I mean, just if you just pick from this palette, for I know. that. It, I just mean, pick, pick any, three. You could do mm -hmm. it with your eyes closed. I know. They'd all and they would all look fantastic <laughs> together. They would. Yeah, yeah so that's a fun that. one. That's, this um, would be really pretty. That rustic look on here I think would be really sharp. It would be nice. Yeah, I love so it. So some people talk about, you know, the Christmas Eve cast on or your Christmas Eve knitting projects. So it's not too soon to start thinking about that. Yeah, because that's when, you mm -hmm. know, hopefully things have kind of settled yeah. down, you know. Yeah. I actually at our house though, um well, it's a little different now that all the kids aren't at home, but um before you know, all the excitement would happen after we came home from church. Mm -hmm. We'd get the kids in bed because we don't set presents out 
unless it's just from like other family mm -hmm. people, because that's when all of our other presents mm -hmm. were hidden away. Mm -hmm. And we bring them all out. So, like, there's this huge impact in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa. Santa was <laughs> so really no Christmas mm -hmm. cast on for you back in the day. No, but mm -hmm. I think these days, definitely, I think I could, you could settle down and do this that. This could yeah. be it. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't take much time. It wouldn't. You know. No, it really wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I really do like that. Yeah, post on our socials if you start that. We want to mm -hmm. see. Yeah. yeah. We want to see pictures of progress. And, and I'd love and... to know what people think about this style, too. You know, is that something that they think they could wear? Also, I, I, I think so. if you go to the magazine's Instagram, uh -huh. and then there's a hashtag for that uh, pattern. Mm -hmm. I think it's... The hashtag is grounded ponchette. Mm -hmm. You can see people who've already made it and how they're wearing it. Yeah. So that oh. gives you some ideas of. They must have had some test knitters. Yeah, yeah. test knitters. Yeah. <laughs> and say. style it up. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So you can see how, because it it's a new, it's yeah. kind of a new concept it's in the knitwear. Yeah. So. And she actually, Denise Bayron, um, she did that uh, hat dana mm -hmm. that I think I knit up last yeah. year. It, oh, you yeah. can wear it as a bandana, but I wore it as a cowl mm -hmm. too. And so that's a little new for, for As I'm too. looking at this, I wonder if having that, you know, the turtleneck concept helps it kind of stay in place too. I'll bet. Because it even like my boat neck, you know, folded poncho, it'll flip you kind of have to adjust bit. it a little bit. So I wonder about that. Yeah, I think this is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. I can't wait okay. to see what people do with it. I know, just all the colors and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be a good one. Movies. Okay, so there's a lot more in here to talk mm -hmm. about, and we don't have time to talk about it all. So you'll have to just ask for it and get it yourself. That's right. <laughs> we have a few copies left. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to move that a little bit. All right. So then our last thing to talk about today are our, oh, our hat, hat kits. kits. We, this One is not the thing. last Two more thing. things. Yeah. Last but not least. So you still have time to do this as a gift. Oh. Hat kits. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What we're coming we up with next. Yeah. It is still doable yeah. Hats to give are, away. You can get done in a week, really, or yeah. just a few days, depending mm -hmm. on who you are. <laughs> okay. So here's. Oh, Here's man. the hat Merry that Christmas. we, okay, Here, I don't know that. This is the hat that we, okay, we will give you this pattern. Um, it's a $5 pattern. It's a great Bald one. Heady. And, Baldy. oh, sorry, I don't want her there. <laughs> She's going to go down here. And the pattern is Shady Grove, and I can't remember who designed it. We, but Karen yeah. knit this. Yeah, she just brought she it in brought for it us in one day, and we're like, guys, what a great yeah. concept that is. So, it's, uh. Yeah, it's nice. I love it. And the you can wear it yep. like that, like more like a beanie mm -hmm. style. Or you yep, do Slouch that. Have it up. A little slouchy. Slouchy. And originally the pattern is written with just one yarn in mind. Just but because. adding the mohair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we Yeah, probably, we probably can't see the mohair yeah, on the video, but it has a have nice a lot more customers that admit it nice that way. Yeah. A lot more knitters that way. So it has a beautiful we halo. Put together some kits. So buy the kit, you get the pattern free. Okay, just so, like last week when we had the blanket kits, which are gone. Yep. We're gonna talk about the kit concept, kind of a one of a kind package. So this is I think my favorite. That one is I incredible. That. I love that orange. Good job, with the Ashley. Cranberry. I kinda yes. liked it's that like one too. Orange pretty. cranberry relish. Maybe that's what oh, I'm that's thinking what of. We're gonna call that. That's yes. pretty good. That is just mm -hmm. stunning. That's, yeah, beautiful. Stunning. We I might have a. We might be able to make two of those. Okay, we might. Right. So that depends, because if someone buys the palm, then mm -hmm. you're done. Well, that's what I'm well, saying. I think, I think we have more than one of those palms. Of those that's good palms. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and these are the palms that are coming out of Austria. They're so nice, and I love this one. Uh, um, that's like taking neutrals uh -huh. to a whole nother place, Becky. This is yours. Yeah. <laughs> Becky is watching, by the way. And I this saw is her. Your pattern, Hi, Becky. Becky. You would look really yeah, cute in this. She would look really cute. good. It just adds a little color. Mm -hmm. And there's sparkle in the pom pom. Yeah, there is. That's yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's a beautiful one. They're all really beautiful. I mean, come on. You can't okay. go wrong. With I know. Fluff. And that. And hand dyed Look yarn. at that one. With Pretty. that color. That's called Fox. Um. Oh, um, this top. red fox, yeah. which I love. It looks like, you know, if you saw the illustrations of the foxes mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. that's what it looks like. And then you give yourself a little tuft. 
cute. Oh, the top, the fluffy tail. Mm -hmm. And the pattern is uh, so shady, shady Grove. Grove. Shady we have someone Grove. asking for that again. Oh, yeah, Shady, shady Grove. Shady, okay. Yeah, you shady said it. Grove. Oh, okay. Well, this look is a pretty that. one. Look I had that. so much That's fun new, pulling these yeah. yesterday. That color. Uh, is it pen penumbra? Nope, it's love the wine you're with. Oh, love the wine <laughs> you're with. I love the the cool and the warm the, uh -huh. together, the pinks and the orange. Yeah, yeah that rust, that's, that's really pretty. pretty. Okay, and All then right. here's a fun bright one. Whoa! With, with the GG orange. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cute. And what mohair is that? Oh, that that's is some neighborhood. Bromo from oh, yeah. Fiber. Those work yeah. really well together. Look at that. Yeah, what? I love putting that palm with that. So, yeah, and some you of You did such have, a good job. I had so much fun. Yeah. My nieces both went to the University of Illinois, so did my husband, and that would be an awesome oh, is that orange kind of and like blue. Their colors? Or, well, they're orange and blue, and then this well, blue is just a It's twist. a little sophisticated. It's, it's a, a little, little more sophisticated. It doesn't school scream colors. like so cool. I'm from oh, the right. universe. <laughs> <laughs> These are my school colors. Um, let's see. But other schools like what? Boise State? Are they orange and blue too? And these are not listed on the website nope. as a kit. Ooh, I like so this if one you too. see these, you need to pop in the shop or call, or call us. Mm -hmm. So, and we'll happy to ship it out to you. Yeah. That one, I think, That's is called pretty. Grace Notes. That's gorgeous. And you can't see on the video, I don't no. think, but this little pops of, it's like a speckly, little speckled yeah, kind of, all over color. On like a real neutral background. On a pretty gray mm -hmm. base. Yeah, mm -hmm. really it's like a, a platinum kind of thing. And this one is super special. Oh, that's fun. This is a real cool, one of a kind, kind of a Christmas look. This really. color is our color. That um, It's the called fiber, Dirty Martini, the, but we'll call it a Dirty Martini. Right, we're Forbidden gonna call fiber it, did it with our logo colors. Martini. That would be really yeah, that's beautiful. That's really I love, I love the red that. And you love primary, so mm -hmm. in fact, I had a little brainstorm inspired by Whitney and one of the gals over at Sticks. They're doing like Christmas soldatnas. I know it was Whitney's idea. Uh -huh. And then this morning, as I was putting this on, I'm like, wow, I know I we should all that. like knit Christmas sweaters. Mm hmm. I mean, a soldatna doesn't have like reindeer motifs. So, but I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Like when we were when we first got that yarn in, and I'm like, this would be a great soldatna. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of Christmassy. But now I'm like, yeah, it would look kind of Christmassy. It's really pretty, <laughs> yeah. But throw that in, and I think you you don't have to just wear it, you know, one month out of the year. Yeah, I so. think that's fun. Okay. All right, All right. let's put some so of these those, back. Okay, we will put these back. So, just so if you saw us. one, just call us. And yeah, you just let us know. Pattern will come with it. Mm -hmm. No charge. For free. Yeah. yeah. Our Merry Christmas to you. Okay. That one, if so that one doesn't go for, <laughs> I'm going to have to. Cranberry that orange. That's fun, too. I yeah. love that pink pom pom. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I okay. Know. That's okay. awesome. All okay. Right. Oh, and here's the hat. Okay. Okay. So that's that one. All right, now are we back? Are we down to the last? One? We're down. Don't yeah, you... we just have a couple of minutes. All right. So. Okay. Well, okay. these are awesome. You can see I've got Ooh. my tea in here. So these come from What's Jam that PDX. One? Is that your own? Oh, oh yeah. it's just I got a really I was really safe when we first opened and did a super <laughs> sweet design. <laughs> but so we met Jennifer and Megan at um, TNNA, our first TNNA before we even were opening the shop. We found these. Fun ladies who are based in Portland, yep. and they make and so maybe someday if we're in a bigger space, we can get more than yeah more than just, just a these. few. But but they do travel mugs, and so I every day I'm drinking water out of this. Here I at the drink shop. out of mine, and it has our little olive yeah. on it. She made some special ones with our little so our little great, olive. Ball. They come with a travel lid. You don't have to do that. Ob I mean, use it that way. But okay, so they're. They're um, sweet and or sassy. I would say or X, not X rated, but <laughs> I would. I would. They're R rated. Okay, <laughs> some of them are R rated, but I. But but if there's only fun. one word, it's a PG thirteen yeah, rating. Okay. Oh, that's okay. what the movies say. All right, so yeah, they're PG. You have to get a certain number of this words one, one's to get an R rating. PG. Yeah, but yeah, given um. Given uh, Arnie and Carlos lately, this one says serious balls. Serious balls. Mm -hmm. And you know we are serious about our balls. Here's one that says PG. selfish, knitter, and proud. That's yeah. a good one. G-rated. This, this is super G-rated. Yarn, chicken, you know what that mm -hmm. means. It's when you're almost 
running out of yarn and you're almost done with your project and you mm -hmm. don't want to buy another one, okay. <laughs> you might have to steal from your cat. Here's on. one. Okay, this one is get bucking gauge. Beep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that would just get, get PG-13. Gauge, get PG-13. This one is knit like a bucking lady. <laughs> Beep. Here's one, crafty ass Beep. witch. <laughs> Good one. Oh, wait, here's one. Keep oh. off. I'm, I'm counting. Buck, buck off. I'm knitting. Mm -hmm. Oh, counting. Okay. Um, crafty AF. Mm -hmm. that, oh, that's that's PG. Alice's yeah. name yeah. is Alice Frank. There you go. <laughs> did you do this one? Yep. yep, I did that one. Okay. Well, and we have a few more. So they're pretty, they're very fun. They're really like, we have them for everybody. And you they, can be sassy or you can be not sassy mm -hmm. or you can pretend to be sassy. Mm -hmm. um, so I think these are really fun. Yep. Come in, get a gift yeah. card, tuck it down in yep. there and give it to your sassy friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go to your, your coffee shop. Right. Get one mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Put that in there because you got to fill it up. And it's your coffee cozy. Yeah. You can, you know, you can go crazy, but or you can just give that. I know. Fun. And really, I Same mean, fun. give it to your favorite knitting friends because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you guys all know what your knitting friends are like, mm -hmm. they, or your and, child's teacher. And they're all. <laughs> If yeah, you know her one, really yeah, well. Don't put that one on her desk. Well, these days, you probably can because it's, if she's not teaching in person, she can have whatever she wants. That's true. She's on, on camera. The side of the camera. <laughs> Pretty darn fun. Yeah, we love these. They're um, they're beautiful. They're handmade. They're, yeah. They're and they're a little bit product. sexy. They are a darn fine product. <laughs> <laughs> they're a beep product. <laughs> They're awesome. Well, I think that's, that's yeah. We got to go now, open up. Right? Okay. Well, <laughs> thanks, right. you guys. Thanks we'll for watching. Signing off. Bye. See you later. Happy Tuesday.